everybody, Paul Brooks here from B Movie Mania. I'm just out here enjoying this absolutely wonderful November weather, the trees and the grass and all that. And I just wanted to take this opportunity to welcome you to our first and probably last, if I'm being honest, Thanksgiving potluck video special. This is actually something that we recorded a couple of years ago. Um, and you know, in, in podcasting, you have your good days, you have your bad days. And unfortunately, this was, I don't know exactly why, but just not one of our best days. We had a lot of technical problems going on. The uh, internet connection wasn't very good. My audio stopped recording at some point. It was just a mess. One of us, and I won't name names, but one of us didn't have our headphones plugged in. So the audio is bleeding all over. And basically, we got frustrated with it and and put it on the shelf. And I didn't think that this uh, would ever come out. But through AI technology, we have actually managed to fix a lot of these mistakes and are now able to present you our Thanksgiving potluck special for the very first time. So I just wanted to kind of put out this disclaimer that if you hear any, you know, small audio uh, issues or anything like that, don't worry about it too much. Just go with the flow. Enjoy it. Because, you know, at the end of the day, that's really what Thanksgiving's all about. Sitting back and, uh, you know, eating food and... You just figuring things out with with family members or whatever the case may be, and and watching some really great Thanksgiving movies. So thank you, and please enjoy B Movie Mania's Thanksgiving Potluck Special. Greetings! Welcome to the official B-Movie Mania Thanksgiving Potluck Special. Woo! Thanks for joining us tonight. All the maniacs are with me tonight. So let's get a quick round of introductions. Jason Halls. Thankful for you, Chris. Thank you, Jay. I'm thankful for that thankfulness. Paul Brooks. Thankful for you, Jay. Thanks, Paul. I'm thankful for you, too. Nice. And our technical wizard of the of the evening, Mike Hayes. I'm thankful for you, Paul. Thank you. See, yeah, we, we go around like everybody says thanks <laughs> to each other. Well, except me. I don't. I don't get anything. <laughs> hey, and I'm your host, Crazy Chris Hudson, oh, and it. I'm oh, thankful. Man. And I'm thankful for all of the maniacs and all of the maniacs listening out there in you too. YouTube land. So, hey, before we get into it, though, why don't we talk about what uh, everyone's eating? I have a delightful Amy's uh, veggie meatloaf, which uh, has a meatloaf and some mashed potatoes and some uh, corn and uh, peas. And then I also made, it's not in the photo, the, the photo that I, uh, there we go. I also made some uh, Amy's mac and cheese to go along with it. So I got kind of like all the fixings right now. Mm. Wow. Paul, yeah, that looks good. Paul, you got anything to wash that down with? Uh, yeah, I have uh, some water. Oh, courtesy of Mike from Stranger Things. Oh, okay. Or, is that Mike? Yeah, I think that's you. Mike. You sent me this image here to show. What is this? Can you explain uh, what this is? That's for after dinner. Oh, okay. We, we Paul, got... cut that out. Oh, that's so little. <laughs> mm. The picture makes that look big. It's very, very little. Like a three-liter bottle of something wrapped in paper. Oh, I'm sorry. This is an Underberg. It is a digestif uh, that you drink after a good meal. In fact, it says right on the label after oh, yeah. a good meal, and you just you shoot it, and um, it's um, it helps with digestion. It's it's a bitters uh, from Germany. It's it's fantastic. Highly recommended. I'm gonna check that out. Jay, I see you shoveling some food into your face. Yeah, I have. 
stuffing. Really wanted to go with something traditional here, you know. And Just uh, stuffing. I like stuffing. Yeah, I mean, I didn't. You know, we're recording this late. I didn't want to do like a whole big heavy turkey thing. So that looks like stuffing from 1963. Might have been. I did save it. I mean, I found it. So, <laughs> Mike. Well, how about you? I ended up uh, making a baked mac and cheese uh, situation. Mm. So, I, so I made a meat Ooh. base out of chorizo, onions, peppers, and diced up hot dogs. Wow. And so I put that all into a casserole dish, and then I, I popped on a thing of some uh, KD. Uh, it's craft dinner for those who don't know. Ah. And then uh, put on some panko breadcrumbs that it's you know had a little bit of butter, baked it all up, and it came out yum yum good. Wow. That looks awesome. That looks amazing. Hudson, what are you? What about eating? you, Chris? Well, it's nothing nearly as good as what you've got, Mike. But I've got the old Thanksgiving traditional. Pizza rolls. <laughs> yeah, you do. <laughs> that's like, that's the Thanksgiving meal of like a college student who's not going home for the holiday. Well, and, yeah. You know, they don't want to make a bunch of food. But it's awesome. What a Thanksgiving holiday student follow my other tradition around here where we put a little bit of a little bit of the last dab. Oh, oh thanks to our friends from First We Feast. Don't do that. <laughs> don't. Don't do You're that. You're going to do that right now? It's traditional around now? these parts to put a little dab I'll do, on. I'll do a little dab, too. And this reach, this goes back to Paul. I also have a digestive, Paul, for... for Really? Yeah, right here. Oh, little, well, uh, of course. <laughs> so, so I'll do a yeah. little... D last you just slathered it, man. Little wow. dab with Hudson there. All right. All right. Cheers. Oh, God. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Mm -hmm. oh, I can feel it. So Chris, how is this how is this uh, potluck special that we're doing here gonna work exactly? Sorry, I didn't mean to ask you that in the middle of your dab chewing. We're getting a little <laughs> bit of a mukbang thing going on, as Mike likes to remind us. Well, well, well. it's a traditional way of you know s eating socially, virtually with other people, and so it's a nice wholesome yeah. activity. Yeah, we're gonna do something a little bit different from our normal show, especially since this is the off season. But we're gonna go around the table. And each answer a few movies that we're thankful for. Hmm. First of all, Paul, I would like to start with you on this first question. What movie from the podcast are you most thankful for? I hate to do do this to you guys while we're eating, but uh, Butt Crack, the movie <laughs> um, <laughs> from season four, was, you know, a movie that I think most of us enjoyed. But I went back and look at the, looked at the scores Right Mike there. gave it a 49. Oh, look at that. 49 from Mike. Uh, 62, what is that, 84, 78? Yep. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, not bad, not bad, but I feel like I I liked it a lot. I feel like, you know, I'm kind of a sucker for 90s stuff, and I've been listening to a lot of Mojo Nixon on Outlaw Country on Sirius XM Channel 60. Mm. I think 60? Uh, great stuff. Uh, if you have Sirius XM, check him out on there. He's still, um, he's not really performing or, you know, uh, recording music or any, anything like that anymore, but, uh, he's the host of a show on that channel. And so I, I've been spending a lot of time with him. So he's kind of been on my mind lately. So, uh, butt crack. Very nice. Nice. Thank you. That's a Chris pick right there. Oh, sorry, Mike. I'm chewing. I'm talking and I'm chewing. <laughs> it's mukbang social here at B-Movie Media. Mike, oh. what uh, what movie from the podcast are you thankful for? Oh, boy. You know, this was really hard for me to go through and pick, but I think the one I'm really most most thankful for of all five seasons we've done, and one that I think does get, I guess, bashed a lot, it's The Amazing Bulk. <laughs> Old school. I mean, it's oh, the second episode man. of the podcast. It's my first pick, and I feel it really set the tone for what was to come. And I'm thankful it did that, but you guys weren't as thankful. I stand by that score. Yeah, I, I, I got to stand by my score. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't st I don't stand by mine. I, I, I probably would give it a higher score than that if I rewatched well, it. It's too, li too little too late. Sorry about it. All right, Jay. How about you? 
Mine comes from an off-season uh, pick. It is ginger snaps. Hell yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And the reason is, the main reason I picked this movie uh, is because it was just Mike and I that talked about it, mm-hmm. you know? And it's a fantastic movie. Obviously, we both like it. Paul and Chris, I think you guys would have had a lot to add, and we could have made a, a larger, full, fun episode out of it, and it would have had some high scores. So I wish that we would have all been able to talk about it. So that's the reason I picked that. Yeah, I mean, even at the even at the time, Jay, we may have both given it 89 voluminous discharges, but <laughs> we also rated it 39. Well, we rated us for 39 because we hadn't seen it up until that point. And you know what? We deserved right. that 39. We still deserve that. Yeah. Yeah. What would you guys give me now since I've still never seen it? <laughs> a, well, you'd a get zero. A, the, yeah, you'd have, you'd have to be zero. below 39. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. I'd give you a 10. <laughs> Thanks, Paul. Um, I, I do want to point out that technically speaking, I was on the Ginger Snaps episode. That's true. And you did say you loved it. So Yes, yes. Well, Hudson, what movie are you thankful for from the podcast? I'm going something a little more recent, but but food based as appropriate mm-hmm. for this feasting holiday. I'm going to go with uh, Dead Sushi. Oh, yeah. I think we uh, yeah. we all scored it pretty well, but the more I think about it, I gave it an 82. Yeah. I keep thinking about this, and like this was way better than an 82. I would bump this up into at least a 90, 90 something at this point. It, what I can't, Mike, I can't quite see. What are all the scores? Jay gave it a 90, tuna head vagrants. I gave it 96, egg yolks back and forth. Paul, you gave it 85, ma- motherfucking roast sushis. Uh, and Hudson yeah. gave it 82, motherfucking roast sushis, which I am baffled that, Hudson, you gave it the least. Yeah, <laughs> how, looking about yeah. how am I the low one on and this? And that's even... I don't know what happened. You, you did it last. We all gave our scores, and then you said... I like it less than them. I, yeah, I don't know how I would score this way higher. This one is stuck in my head a lot more. I'm very thankful this this movie was made, and it, it doesn't deserve such a low score. Well, just for fun, what do you think it deserves, Chris? What would you give it now? I'd probably go with a 94. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'd go there right, right under Mike, I think. All right. Has anyone ever had sushi for a Thanksgiving meal? No. This year mm. I might. I learned to make sushi this last month, so I might uh, I might give it another try. Mm-hmm. Thankful for you, Dead Sushi. Thanks, Dead mm-hmm. Sushi. Still. So moving along, what Thanksgiving themed movie are you all thankful for? Hmm. Can this be? Does this have to be a B movie, or can it be any Thanksgiving movie? Any movie at all, really. I mean, I'm not going to limit you to a Thanksgiving movie if <laughs> you've picked something non Thanksgiving themed. Just okay. Any movie you're thankful for. Okay, good, because we picked all these out beforehand, you know. So. <laughs> yeah, so I'm glad it fits. <laughs> Too late to change your mind now if I if I say it's Thanksgiving only. <laughs> Wait, I'm getting a last-minute text from Jay. Uh, no, uh, <laughs> this was easy for me. I have a, a favorite Thanksgiving movie, hands down, top of the list. Nothing comes close to this movie. It's House of Yes, starring Parker yes. Posey. Oh, House of Yes is great one. One, of, one of my favorite movies in general, and just it takes place over the Thanksgiving holiday and... Parker Posey and Freddie Prince Jr. and Tori Spelling are all fucking wild in it, and I love it. I have a couple things to say about this, Mike, if you, if you don't mind. As long as they're not mean. No. Okay. Good. Why would I say anything? Mean That's about the only reason I'd mind. That's the only reason I'd mind. First of all, Jay, do you remember the first time we watched this? Oh yes, I do. Oh, okay, it was uh, quite the experience. Do tell. It, well, we were in New York City, mm-hmm. and. Um, it was toward the end of our trip. We were staying in Midtown Manhattan at an amazing place um, with some friends. And uh, I believe we missed our flight. Did we? Wasn't that it? Or was it the, the day before our flight? Don't remember. We, yeah, I don't remember. I, oh, let's just say it's the day before we went home. We were drinking a lot. We could have missed the flight. <laughs> I think we did because I think we were going to like take a cab or something i don't know i don't remember exactly what happened but um probably because we were drinking too much yeah but um yeah it was the night before we ended up leaving to go home and uh we watched this in new york city and it was an awesome experience and we had like a spaghetti dinner with it or something as well Mm. home cooked i don't remember that part our, our host dan 
cooked us a, a spaghetti dinner. So it was a very memorable, memorable night back in, uh, gosh, August of 2001. Yeah. I mean, well, to clarify, I mean, Dan was a host, like <laughs> Dan also lived there. What else, wait, what does host mean then? I, I, what, what's the confusion? Well, it was, it was Laura's place, right? Like, Oh, was it? I, I'm yeah. And Dan was just like living there. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Sorry, Laura. Yeah. You know, yeah. can you Let's really just, trust you know, I want to give credit to the person who actually, you know, had the bills paid. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Thanks to both of them. The other thing I wanted to mention really quick about, uh, well, I don't want to put anyone on edge or anything, but if ever, you know, we're not doing this podcast anymore and we've moved on to other projects, I have been thinking recently that it would be really fun to do a Parker Posey podcast. So oh. if anyone's, anyone's interested, I might be, you know, starting that up at some point. The old PPP. Hmm. Mm-hmm. P yeah. cubed, baby. <laughs> P3. Parker Posey, thankful for you. Thank you, mm-hmm. Parker Posey. Hell yeah. Jay, are you also thankful for Parker Posey? I mean, I sure am, but that's not where I'm going with my pick. Um, my pick is American oh, Movie. Oh, yes. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's been a long time since I've seen it, but man, it just sticks with you. Mark sticks with you. It's a fantastic movie, and that's why I picked it. I just love it. Shout out to Mark. Shout out to Mike. I'm right here. Yep. No, Mike Shank, not oh, you. Okay, okay. <laughs> this is going to sound terrible, but I remember when this movie came out and all the the hype around it. I've still never seen it. Oh, You've still never seen that one? Dude. Yeah. It's something. It's so good. Jay, do you remember the first night we watched this one? <laughs> I don't. No, I don't remember that. We watched this in 2000 at your place, uh, which was known as The Pit. Okay. And uh, I remember it clearly because... I had gotten LASIK eye surgery earlier in the day, and my eyes felt like sandpaper, and we still watched this movie at night. It was not a good idea, but I don't regret it. I, wow. I remember you getting that, but not the watching it that night. Okay. Same night. Yeah. Paul, are you going to regret telling us the Thanksgiving-themed movie that you're thankful for? I am absolutely not going to regret it one bit. It's a, a little, maybe a little bit of a hidden gem. Called uh, Pieces of April, mm-hmm. and um, this is a, uh, I want to say 2003, yeah, 2003, little indie flick starring Katie Holmes, and it's very, very heavy on the Thanksgiving, um, so if you're looking for a, a Thanksgiving movie, this is uh, chock full of it. It's uh, It's all about, like, family, it's all about you know, everybody deals with this. You, you you get together for the holidays, and sometimes it's difficult to be around certain family members. There's Everybody's got their issues, you know. And this is a very um, sweet and very well-crafted um, sort of look at, uh, you know, trying to make things work with uh, family members during the holidays. Katie Holmes' character is kind of the black sheep of the family. She lives in New York City. Uh, you know, she's she's got a lot of, like, issues with her mother and different people in the family. Can't say enough good things about this movie. Check it out if you see it, uh, you know, streaming somewhere. Or, I mean, like, I got mine. I don't know if you can tell, but I got mine for a buck fifty at Book Off. So you can probably find it out there for fairly cheap pieces of april you can just borrow paul's copy yeah, yeah. come on over <laughs> i'll loan it to you you can you know hang out with me if you want to watch it it's got uh patricia clarkson in it uh Derek luke sean hayes oliver platt great cast um allison pill from star trek picard is in it you can uh, you can see some stage performance versions of pieces of april in the television series AP Bio, or streaming network series on Peacock, AP Bio has a whole episode dedicated to Toledo's obsession with Katie Holmes, their star child, and how she got the role in Pieces of April, her her debut film. And the that whole is bizarre. It's one of the funniest <laughs> episodes ever. Their holiday extravaganza is like how the town puts on a pageant dedicated to Katie Holmes and this movie, and it is fucking hilarious. So I, is it? Did- did you say it's on Peacock? Yeah, it's on Peacock. You can watch AP Bio. Okay. Great show in general. 
Uh, it's very funny. But the, there's a holiday episode that is centers around Pieces of April. I am so glad you've told me this. I am <laughs> I am watching that on Thanksgiving Day. Yes. <laughs> thank you, Mike. And, and thankful for you, Katie Holmes. And also, let me just say thankful to um, Peter Hedges, the director of Pieces of April. A lot of this is sort of like personal to him, like, uh, you know, a lot of the things that happened in the movie actually happened. So thank, thankful for him as well. Hudson. Right. My, my pick, it's, um, it's not really a Thanksgiving themed movie, but uh, <laughs> it is about family. Okay. And it does take okay. place in a place that a lot of us spend time at to prepare for the Thanksgiving meal, the supermarket. Oh. So I am very thankful for Frank Darabont's <laughs> The Mist. <laughs> this movie is fantastic, especially if you watch the black and white version. It's so um, atmospheric. Um, yeah. The cast such, is amazing. Such a holiday I mean, classic. Yes. Yeah, Tom I, Jane, <laughs> William Sadler, Toby Jones. I mean, it's just a nice... Oh. I mean, it's a scary movie about family, and mm-hmm. oh, it's the most depressing mm-hmm. ten minutes in cinema history, I think. Oh. Needless to say, we need to talk about Jay's experience in the theater <laughs> watching this movie. <laughs> you want me to reenact it? <laughs> yeah. Don't give right, anything so, away in case people haven't no, seen it. Of course, you should absolutely watch this movie. But pretty much the last, I, I don't know, ten minutes of the movie. I was just literally sitting there like this. <laughs> Horrible. Looking Horrible. right at the screen because I could not believe what I was seeing. It was just, I, get, I just got goosebumps just saying that right now. <laughs> I Yes, I absolutely love it. You couldn't believe what you're seeing on the screen or was there something around you within the theater that was unbelievable as well? No, no, no. It's the screen. It okay, was okay. what was happening on screen. The ending of the movie is... Famous, I guess. Shocking. I mean, it's, it's yeah, utterly shocking. And I had never seen anything like that before. They also pipe in a lot of fog. I was just going to say, that's a <laughs> that's an interesting idea. Um, Mike, maybe, and Chris, maybe we should, like, have a, a mist party, you know, like, have a viewing of the mist and just pipe in a lot of smoke when we're watching it. Yeah, I mean, I, I missed the mist, so. Ooh. I w- you, you missed it? I missed it. You haven't so, seen it? Yeah, I missed it. So Or like you or like you sprayed mist over your No, copy and movie. I didn't almost hit it. I just completely missed it. And wow. uh so if we do that, we can pipe in some fog and some smoke and I can sit there like Jay and just not believe what's you happening would. on the screen. I'm sure. You would. I love it. And then we'll watch Ginger Snaps afterward to make us oh feel God. better. Yes. Ourselves. Why don't we right. do this? Let's let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> and viewers, you're all invited. Love it. Well, I'm thankful. This is such for, a good idea. I'm thankful for Stephen King and the Mists. Our last question of the evening kind of digs mm-hmm. kind of digs more into our 24 hour B movie marathon that we've done for almost 10 years now, yearly. Uh, so, which of the many many movies we've watched? At one of the marathons, are you most thankful for? Jay, let's let's start with you. Um, I am going to roll things back a little bit, and I'm going to pick Blood Diner. Mm-hmm. Oh, mm-hmm. Sheeta! Mm-hmm. Sheeta! For, for, exa- <laughs> for exactly that reason. Uh, it's a great movie. It's so much fun. It gave us so many, like, jokes. The Sheeta joke that uh, continues to this very day. Um I saw it, immediately bought the Blu-ray. Nice. I love it. And uh, I am very thankful for Blood Diner. Fantastic. Rightfully so. Blood Diner could kind of be a Thanksgiving movie if you think about it. A lot of food involved. Yeah. A lot of food. Yeah, and family, food. too. Food and family. Yeah. The themes. Let's well, make sure we give thanks to Sheetar just so I, that nothing bad happens to us later tonight. Sheetar! I, I think... I thank Sheetar and I thank Jackie Kong for making this motherfucker. There's a very famous photo of us from the marathon. And I, Mike, I know that you don't have it on, on quite on deck here, but I'll edit it in in post where during the marathon, we decided, and it was a bad idea, but we decided to, for a drinking oh, game, no. drink every time someone said Sheetar. <laughs> we had, <And> unfortunately, oh. <laughs> they start saying Sheetar like, 35 times in a row and I'm trying to like drink like a gin and tonic or something 
and we're just laughing our asses off. We thought we knew, but we in fact had no idea. Mm -mm. Paul, I know, mm -hmm. I know how thankful you are for Blood Diner, but is there another movie from the marathon you're thankful for? Indeed. Uh, this is something that doesn't get talked about hardly ever, but I got to go all the way back to the beginning with Snakes on a Train. Yeah, oh, baby! Oh, wow. This is the, the very first movie we ever watched at a marathon, right? The very first movie right. at the marathon. We were, um, let's just say that we were still working out some of the kinks, uh, I think. Mm -hmm. 12 minutes into the movie we lost our you know feed yeah. and we had some issues with it but <laughs> and i don't remember anything about it um so i don't know i don't think it's a good movie but i just want to you know kind of pay tribute to the very the very first marathon movie mm -hmm. well mm -hmm. excellent choice paul thank you well i'm i'm thankful for the very first marathon movie as well well mike uh I know you're not going to surprise us with making uh, your next official selection for the next marathon, picking a future movie you're thankful for. So which past movie from the marathon are you thankful for? I literally have three of them queued up here because I couldn't decide. But... Ooh. You're surprising even yourself. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, what if I just shuffled them? Um, <laughs> um, I think I am most thankful for... You can do it. Frankenhooker. Frank <laughs> yeah. yeah. There it is. Nice. Uh, just, fuck, it's so good. I was watching someone review it recently uh, on YouTube. Um, Girl Behind the Counter, shout out to her. And she was showing some of the exploding hookers. Spoiler, there's exploding hookers in this. <laughs> and just the, like, there's, like, fireworks shooting out of them. It's so <sighs> stupid. It's so, like... There's no realism to it whatsoever. But mm -hmm. when we were watching that for the first time, we were dying. God, we were. Oh, yeah, it, and it's one of those like when it's the first movie and we're having so much fun with it. It's it's nice because like we're not drunk by that point. We, we've we just started our, our evening as well. And so it's all just nothing's helping us laugh. We're just having a good time together. And you know what? I'm thankful for that. Same. same. Sweet. Hudson, what what movie from the, the marathon are you thankful for? You know, I, I also can't narrow it down to just one because both of these movies are just linked together in my mind. It was the first time I'd seen either of these movies, and now I can't think of one without thinking of the other. Mm -hmm. The first mm -hmm. one was Mike's pick followed by my pick. Okay. So, I was so yeah. surprised by how much I loved Forbidden Zone. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Nice. Richard nice. Elfman, fantastic nice. movie. It was. I, don't, I, I think we were at that sweet spot of just being really pretty like drunk, like really happy and just like... This movie's awesome. And then you follow it up. For some reason, they, they have nothing to link them thematically. It's only at this marathon. We followed it with another fantastic movie, Six String Samurai. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And now both of those movies are just... I couldn't tell you what either one's about still. I just remember <laughs> loving the shit out of them. I was drunk out of my mind and is like, these are amazing. And I, I need to go back and just watch these back to back again to recreate the magic. Can I just pop in a, a semi-thankful... Because it's similarly themed with Hudson's thankfuls here. Yeah. Of, of he oh. and I, I think it was him and I for this one. It was me and one other person up very late and we were drunk and we were having a nice time. But one of them I have a very fond memory of is Sharks in Venice. That was you and me. It was, yeah, I thought maybe it was you and me, Paul. But I just had <laughs> I don't a great remember this time one at all. and remember watching that and going, this is going to be fun to revisit later. It was one of those situations where we had passed out and... Uh, well, Jay and Jay and Chris were passed out. Me and Mike were still going. It was like 4.30 in the morning or something, and we were just powering through, doing what we had to do to keep the train rolling, and we did it. Mm -hmm. Which which marathon was that? Six or seven. <laughs> One of the Back many. a few years. <laughs> <laughs> We've watched so many movies in so many years. Hey, we're thankful for all the uh, B-movie maniacs out there. If, if mm -hmm. you have a... Uh, movie that you're really thankful for this holiday season why don't you leave a comment down below and let us know about it you know mm -hmm. what all right crazy well, working on it there now we go. all right you guys want to see me uh oh yeah this Underberg? yeah let's yeah. do our, uh, yeah let's think i want to see chris chug the dab as paul chugs the uh <laughs> <laughs> chugs Here we go. thing all right he's getting his Cheers. dab happy thanksgiving okay. happy thanksgiving happy thanksgiving happy thanksgiving everyone Ah, mmm. 
<laughs> Got a little spillage. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Refreshing. Bye. Goodbye, viewers. Bye. Thank you. Hope you had a great time. Bye. We've got a lot of stuff we're waiting for you in the off season of our podcast. And from all of us at B Movie Mania, have a very, very happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Oh, yeah, real quick, Woo. if you are listening to the audio feed of this on the podcast catcher, we do have a video of this up to, on YouTube. Go to it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, bye. Bye, bye. Audio people, bye. <laughs> bye. Bye. Listen up, maniacs. Do you have a question or a comment? Would you like to uh, send some bourbon to Uncle Lloydy? You can contact the gang on Facebook at B-Movie Mania. You can also drop them a line at bmoviemania.com. Reach out, touch them. They are touching themselves, and they might just reach back. I'm Lloyd Kaufman saying, see you next time on B-Movie Mania. Woohoo!